Hey guys, so wanted to really quickly go over the new Witch Queen DLC, my first impressions. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this a spoiler list for a little bit as possible. Um, beginning, uh, I'm doing a, uh, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, you're just watching gameplay of me in the Throne World area. I'm using the new exotic SMG that you get for, I think it's owning the Deluxe Edition? Um, but anyway, you beat the story and you're able to craft it. Anyway, I now own the Masterwork for it. I have it level like 49 after the, I record all the gameplay. I think it's level 49. Um, and all, all in all, I really love this weapon. I've completed the campaign three times, all on legendary difficulty. Uh, two of them have been by myself, and one of them has been with a group of friends at the very beginning. Really quickly, if you're doing this under level, so where I started at 1350 and we just kept going, um, it took us around 12 hours. Uh, we were making pit stops, we were going to the tower, we were exploring shit. Uh, it took us roughly 12 hours on legendary and we were severely under light i mean for the final mission you have to be like 1500 we were like 1420 <laughs> well a little bit they were skulls okay they, they were hard as fuck um anyway when i did in my other two characters i had them a little bit leveled up and it was really smooth i took roughly five four or four or five hours on legendary difficulty to solo it i was using the exotic smg the whole time and i love this gun it is phenomenal uh, really quickly, uh, this is without any spoilers, the offensive that I'm doing in this gameplay, it's sometimes defensive, sometimes offensive, uh, I don't know, fucking know, um, it doesn't seem to be dropping loot, so I don't know if that's because I'm not at the powerful cap or what, but it's not dropping me, jack fucking shit, uh, we'll figure that out later, uh, it might be a bug right now, it might be because I'm not powerful, I don't fucking know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it should be dropping stuff, at least some blues, hopefully, maybe. Um, anyway, besides what's going on in the background and all that, what would I rate this DLC based off story alone? 10 out of 10. I have no complaints, it's better than Taken King, sorry. Uh, I'm a big-ass fanboy for Taken King, I have 2,000, 3,000 hours in D1, I played it on PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, I love that game. Uh, Taken King was the highlight for it. Uh, it was phenomenal. It was like, it. nostalgia is there for me. Witch Queen's just better. I don't like being that guy saying, oh, you just, you're liking it because it's fresh, or whatever. I currently have 20 hours in the expansion, and I'm dead fucking tired right now. I've played the story three times. I've listened to all the cutscenes. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, and it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, if you just need someone to just agree with you and that you should make the purchase, I think the money's worth it. I think the expansion is phenomenal. It's probably the best expansion we've gotten. Sorry for saking. Your raid's really good. I really loved your story. But, like, it's Savathun, dude. I, I don't know. I just think this is such a sick raid. Or not such a raid. The raid's not out right now. Such a sick expansion. Uh, character designs, uh, like, just the environment, it's phenomenal, Sabathun looks cool, the light hive look cool, the crushing ghost effect looks cool, everything looks so sick. Um, I'm gonna start getting the spoilers here, if you don't want any spoilers, you can leave, it's a phenomenal ass expansion, I say go ahead. Alright, I'm gonna give you a five seconds, five, four, three, two, one okay really quickly void 3.0 is fucked um invisible uh invisibility apparently for console i'm not a console player i play on pc my friends play on console and they say they cannot fucking see anybody in this uh one of them is old gen so xbox one and the rest of them are on xbox series x consoles and they can't fucking see in this now the issue with that is um if you go against triple hunters they're able to smoke the ground, uh, if they have the right aspect on, and their teammates will go into this at the last five seconds. Their shade step will make them go into this. If 
they have the other aspect their own is it an aspect it might be a fragment uh where if they weaken targets they go invis and then they have the fragment where their grenades weaken so that they'll just throw a grenade and then they'll go into this basically uh, uh so spamming invis is a problem Dawnblade got nerfed it's now a it takes like 10 minutes or some shit crazy like that um and void walker is probably the worst for pvp um all in all warlock feels really weak in the sandbox right now um i mean i guess it is what it is but titans get to sit behind a barricade and get a full overshield that'll just regen that it'll regen the overshield they sit behind it um hunters can spam invisibility on consoles that's an issue um and warlocks kind of just get nothing to be honest what warlock gets is phenomenal for pve but pvp they're kind of dead this season um so i was playing comp void walker felt like trash Dawnblade felt like trash, except for military. Military Dawnblade was fun. I used it with Stag. I liked it. Um, as I normally do, because that wasn't changed at all. Uh, Stasis, I didn't really like it. Because Stasis gets countered by a lot of stuff now, so it's like, ugh. Here's what it is. I'd go either way with Stasis, to be honest, with Warlock. The stasis and void, um, there are no stasis and void, stasis and military soul are fine, and then arc just feels terrible. I don't know what it is, but that's just my opinion of the current balancing. Warlocks are at the bottom, they feel really terrible. Titans feel really good, and hunters feel pretty good. Boom, let's get into spoilers, some actual spoilers. I have a few issues, and now this is real heavy spoiler, this is like last mission stuff, please leave if you if you haven't played it and you really, really care. I'll give you like four more seconds, four, three, two, one, we kill Sabathun, right? And the way we do it is so, it feels weird, right? Like, we go through all this damage phases, we do all this DPS, and then we finally kill her. At the end, she says, hey, just, be, I warned you, the witness is coming. Whatever happens next is on you. So, she's basically saying the ball's in our court. It's time we play our game. Um, I feel like that writing is really, really good. But only to the people that have been keeping up with the lore, keeping up with the game. If you're a new player, you have no fucking clue what's going on. I'll be real honest, the new player experience is going to be terrible for this. Um, I was like, I don't know. I wish there was more of Sabbath soon. Because for me, it feels like it's just eight story missions and three extra things. And Sabbath Thune's out of the picture. I don't really like that because I wish Sabbath Thune was... Honestly, I really wish she turned into a good person. Because after she became a guardian, I thought she would lose her memories. And boom, she should be a good guy, a good person. Um, But no. Because I really wanted to see what I wanted... Which isn't what we get it got, and it's it's fine. I wanted to see the uh, Cabal, the Fallen, the Humans, and the Hive team up against the Scorn, uh, the Witness, which I don't even know what race that is right now. I'm really tired. The Scorn, the Witness, and the um, the Vex, because we haven't seen the Vex in a while. Because we haven't seen the Vex in a while, in a while, and who knows what they're up to anymore. Um, but yeah, I just, I am really excited for things to come. I feel like the raid's gonna be really cool. The weapons feel really nice. Ooh, weapon crafting. Okay, here we go. So you gotta level up a weapon to get, um, the extra, like, magazines the barrels the extra stuff unlocked right so it incentivizes you to use the, the new weapons to get the perfect roll um you every time you level up a weapon as you can see my submachine gun is level 40 whatever the fuck it is in this i don't even know uh it, it's really high level every time you level it up you get a little bit of the materials used to craft and i think that's really sick i don't think there's even a cap for how many levels you can get 
Because my friend said, oh yeah, it's 20. And then here I am with a level 40 submachine gun. I think that's so cool. Um, because it shows, hey, you really like this gun? Boom. We gave it a level. Now you can show off how much you really like this gun. I think that's cool. My issues is, I wish it was retroactive with other weapons. So, like, Dreaming City stuff, it can get uh, this little red effect on it, and you get kills with the weapon or complete activities with it, and then you can choose between what type of um, materials you want to get for crafting. I wish getting the red done could unlock, a, like, a blueprint for the weapon. But it doesn't, and I kind of... I get that weapon crafting had to start off small, but I, I wish it didn't. I really, really wish it didn't. There would be so much replayability if you could do all the Dreaming City weapons, all of the old raid weapons, all of the, um, like, say, Fatebringer. People would want that. I, I guarantee it. Uh, maybe not adept stuff. Leave adept stuff hard to get. Um, but, like, ah, just I just wish it was retroactive. And then maybe... Uh, I'm hoping sometime we get armor crafting. Uh, uh, uh. I know a lot of people can't get those god roll armor pieces, so uh, I don't know. Maybe that'll happen sometime. Uh, what else do I have to say? The new strikes are phenomenal. The Al Cool one is really cool. It's Light Blade. And the other one, you go inside the pyramid. I think both these strikes are really, really, really good. I like them both. I have no complaints. I like that we got strikes. Crucible is the downside of this expansion. If you were hoping for Crucible content, you did not get it whatsoever, bud. Um, two new maps. They're not new. They're reprised. They're old. They're, we had them. I don't know why they were taken out, but they're back now for whatever fucking reason. I don't care about them. I'm not a fan. Vostok? Wow. Eternity? Wow. Yeah, nobody cares. i am be real honest. They're really shitty maps, to be honest. Um, and if Trials is like Vostok, I'm going to fucking kill myself. I, I think that's completely terrible. I hate those two maps so fucking much. Oh, like, why can't we get a map in Sabathun's throne world or on her ship or like, I don't know, anywhere, like anything new, please. We still don't have a Dreaming City map. I mean, we used to, don't anymore. Um, I don't even think we have a, no, we don't even have a Europa map. They don't care about Crucible. I, shit, man, like, <sighs> Bungie, why? They're a multi-million dollar company. They make so much goddamn money and they can't be bothered to hire 20 people to make, I don't know, 10 maps, 5 maps, I don't know, something, something good, something decent, 3 maps, even 4, 3 or 4, like, anything new, please, for Crucible? Like, Crucible's dying. <laughs> I hate it. Because Crucible is one of the things I really, really like about Destiny, but it, we're getting so far much further further and further away from crucible matter mattering i hate it, it just sucks it, uh, uh shit man no new dungeon so far unless maybe when we complete the raid the dungeon unlocks like it happened with dreaming city i don't know um so far no new dungeon uh, the raid's gonna probably be amazing. They don't fuck up their raids, unlike uh, starting another game like let's say it, Final, F not Final F World of Warcraft. I'm so damn tired. Actually, World of Warcraft series are pretty good too, but I that game's fucked. That game. Um, one over one. Oh, did I go? Uh. Okay, so for certain things, you gotta level up. Flinch, Flint, whatever, the fucking ghost guy, the shitty hive ghost guy that, for whatever fucking reason, betrayed the hive guardians, um, you gotta level him up, you can level him up by completing the offensives, doing patrols, doing bounties, oh yeah, here's another thing, what's the fastest way to level up in a season? Play the game, complete activities, get kills, no. No, it's it's none of those things. It's bounties. It's fucking bounties. Oh my god. Uh, I know I'm complaining, but I'm just complaining because I want these things. They're one big thing and one small thing. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I Gambit actually. Oh, actually, Gambit is really fun. Go in there and try it out for yourself. I I really enjoyed it. I really really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna spoil it. You figure it out yourself. That thing's on you, because that's free to everybody. That's not an expansion thing. Ooh. When we were going through the story, 
what I felt really cool was how thick the story modes were, or the, the campaign missions were. So it's eight missions total, but it really feels like 10 or 16. Or t like, it feels like a lot. It, it really does. Because you put down the raid banners, and they don't take your banners. They don't take your raid banners. This is a campaign banner, so every time you spawn, you just throw one down. It won't take anything. So you throw that bitch down. Boom, encounter. You think you're done after that? Nope, 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 nope. You got more. <laughs> Keep going. I think that's so sick, because they're making them beefy and thick, and it feels juicy. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the... When you unlock Flinch, you level them up to, like, 11. You can unlock weekly story missions. And you could use those to upgrade your crafting weapons and get catalysts. And that's really sick. So up upgrading the throne world through ranking up and doing stuff. It's very, very important. Doing the alignment is really, really important. Or alignment offensive is really, really important. Oh, I haven't even talked about the season yet. Um, I haven't gotten to do much of it. It's basically battlegrounds again, but a little twist. I'll let you go find out uh, what that twist is. I think it's okay. I don't know. The season so uh, so far the season expansions ex uh, seasons don't really matter that much. It's basically we're going around trying to fuck up the the light bearers. It's, it's basically what's happening. Uh, but yeah, I think the story's phenomenal. I think the areas are amazing. I think every I it's a ten out of ten. The only places that fall short is Crucible. That is basically it. I That's it. That's all I have to complain about. And Crucible is just basically dead in the water anyway, so fuck it, whatever. Can't be bothered to keep caring about something that they don't care about. So that that's it. That's my review. I think it's 10 out of 10. I think everyone that's a fan of Destiny should buy it, if you haven't already. I think if you're on the little edge, you're like, ooh, I bought the Unlane and sucked. Trust me, this is not beyond light. This is actually good. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Please like and sub means a lot. Uh, I stream over on Twitch, streaming Destiny 2. I'll put it in the description. Please come follow me. <laughs> Hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm going to go get some sleep. It's like 3 a.m. And I haven't slept in forever. Peace.